Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's to Road. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aries love prediction reading for July 31st through August 6th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on my fiery, impulsive, fun, loving, Aries. Show me spirit guides. What's going on my Aries? Let's see. Show me spirit guides. King of Wands, the Chariot, the High Priestess, Ugh. the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Wands. Let me see here. I think with this King of Wands here, you know, King of Wands is all, always my husband card for me in, in my love readings. Because the King of Wands uh, represents someone that is very, um, that, that's just the husband. He's someone that wants to be your husband or, you know. Um, but here's the deal. This King of Wands, they want to be with you. They want to be with you, but you know what? They're still playing with other people and you're not having it. Yeah, they want to be with you. They're, they really do. This King of Wands wants to marry you. This is someone that really literally wants to marry you. <sighs> King of Wands is a leader. He leads his family. That's why I said, this is my husband. This is your husband. This is someone that wants to marry you. You've been with this person too for a minute. But here's the deal. I see the chariot card there. And the chariot card means moving forward. It means moving forward. Everything. Go, go, go. It is, means moving forward. So this king of wands wants to move forward with you. This person wants to marry you. But wait a minute. They think that you don't know about these other women because I see the high priestess in the middle of your reading. How you going to marry me? That's what you say. Well, you must think I don't know about this high priestess. This high priestess, this other woman that you're still dealing with. You can't marry me and, and be involved with someone else. That's not going to work. Not for an Aries. Unless you just want to play all the way around. We don't ever have to get married. I can have other people too. That's what I hear Aries telling you. But this fire sign is not going to play with you when it comes to, um, you know, with other women. This king of wands could also be a fire sign. Or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Wands um, represents the fire signs. But what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, this is someone that you just straight out flip and call out and say, look. I love you, you love me. Well, that's what you're telling me. But you, I guess you didn't think I didn't know about this high priestess because here you are, the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is one of those uh, very much, uh, she's going to get what she wants. If she doesn't get what she wants, then guess what? She's going to move on. And you know what, Aries? That's what you're telling this person is, that has the audacity to ask you about being married to them or to think that you're going to marry them or to think that you don't know about the other women. I don't think it's just one woman. About the other women, they're still out here playing, but yet they want to think that you, you know, don't know that they're playing. Come on. Come on. And see, I see the three of wands here, though, which led, leads me to believe it's all about a future. This three of wands is all about a future. It's about moving toward a future. Three of wands is looking into the future. And I think my Aries is saying, if you mess, I'm about to, oh, I'm about to get in trouble. But I think my Aries is saying, if you're doing this to me now, imagine if I marry you, what you'll do to me, how you'll treat me, how you'll think you can be with other women. I don't want that. And so we're going to see. I'm just going to see what the spirit guys are going to tell me. But that's what I see. This is what I see, Aries, with this person that's in your love space. Um, this is a person that's in your love space. Also, the chariot does represent the cancer sun sign. But whomever this is, this, this, this person that wants to marry you, you know, they're, not, they're still playing, and you know that. You know they're still out there with other people, other women. So let's see. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify this reading just to see 
What additional information the spirit guides want me to know about this relationship? Why is this king of wands here? Show me spirit guides. Sit back, relax, please. And just let me, give me three to five minutes and let me uh, clarify this reading. Why is this king of wands here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the king of wands here? Let's see. Oh, seven of pentacles. Huh. You sat back and you gave them a chance too. You know, you thought, even if they proposed it to you already, you sat back and you gave them a chance. You thought that they were going to get it together. You really did. You thought they were going to get it together, but they have not got it together because seven of pentacles means you just went along with the program. And when I say you went along with the program, you still uh, dated them. You still, when I say dated them, of course, I think they've asked for your hand in marriage. But what I'm saying is you still slept with them. You still were just going right along with it, thinking that they were going to change. You know, you still called them. You still talked to them. You still were in love with them. Um, and you, you wanted them to grow. You wanted them to grow. You want to give. You wanted to give them an opportunity to get out of this mess with being with other women, but they have not. So let's see why this chariot card is here. Show me. It's like you've given them. Look at her. She has her arms crossed. I've given you, and that's what Aries is saying. I've given you enough time, and you still want to do the same old crap to me. Same old mess. One thing about an Aries, they don't like you to take their um to think that they're boo boo the fool. And that's how you think that she's Sheila the Fool and you're not. <laughs> Let's see why the chariot card is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, the lover's card. <sighs> they are in love with you. They want to move forward with you. They've made a decision to marry you. The lover's card can represent the Gemini sun sign. But when you see the lover's card there, um, they've made a decision to marry you. They just have not let their other life go. The, the lover's card also represents the Gemini sun sign. But they've made a decision. They made a decision to love you and to marry you. Especially with that chariot card, they want to move forward. So let's see why the high priestess is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the high priestess here for my Aries? Oh, look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. They check the boxes. The high priestess here. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you what I see. When I see this high priestess and the Ten of Pentacles... All the high priestess is wants, all this other these uh, this, this other women want is to tear this relationship apart. They know that he's in love with you. But you know what? It's up to him to move away from them. But with this ten of pentacles here, there's nothing but love here. Nothing but love. That's what I see. There is nothing but love here. And the ten of pentacles means that family, having a family. You know, two dogs, 2.3 kids, a, a fabulous house, jobs, money. And this, these other women, all they want to do is tear it down. They know. They know about you. you um, and they didn't think you knew about them, but you know about them too. He doesn't think, or he didn't think you knew about them, but you do know about them. But like I said, the Ten of Pentacles, all they want to do is, is tear it down. Tear down this family. Tear down this opportunity. Tear down this love that you have. So let's see why the Queen of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Oh, Page of Wands. Page of Wands saying, hey, you're going to... You're going to keep your freedom too, huh? That's what you're pretty much telling. With that page of wands, that means you're going to keep, you're going to have your freedom. You're going to do what you want to do until he gets it together. And maybe you'll be available. Maybe you'll be available when he gets it together. Page of wands means that you're moving on too. You're, you're going to keep doing what you're doing. You're not going to stop what you're doing. So here, let's see what the three of wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the three of wands here? Oh. Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Heartbreak over this future that you thought you were going to have with them. Now, this heartbreak, I think, also is about them. They're heartbroken, too, but it doesn't matter. And also, I, I just think that this was going to be a marriage, and, and now it's all messed up, but he needs to get it together. And I don't know if you're going to be back with them, you know? I, I'm not quite sure. I don't see that. Right now, I see that you're both heartbroken over this because I think that you've given him an ultimatum here, and and, and I don't know what he's going to do. I don't. The spirit guys and the cards are not telling me that. But right now, I know that both of you are heartbreaking because this future is broken. Let's take the King of Wands here at the very beginning of your reading. This is someone that wants to marry you, wants to propose, may have already proposed to you. 
you try to give them an opportunity with the seven of pentacles you stood back and try to see if they were going to grow get their crap together get their ish together they did not you still went along with the program but they didn't know here's a chariot card here they're trying to move very very quickly to marry you he wants to marry you this is a king of wands he wants to marry you and here's a lover's card here you both you both are in love with each other i mean you are but you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. And that's what you're about to let him know. Because you do know about these other women. And all they want to do is to break up this happy, this opportunity that you guys have to love each other and be with each other. The lover's card also represents a Gemini sun sign. But it could be anyone. This is a general read. But the lover's card does represent Gemini. The chariot card represents a, a cancer sun sign. So all... um. And he's made a decision to be with you, but yet he's still playing with these other itches. I'm sorry. That's just what I see. And you know it, too. You know it. And they don't want anything. They really don't want him. He doesn't want them. He just has not made the decision. But you're not down for it because here you are being the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords is a bad itch. The Queen of Swords does not play when it comes to her life or anything else. She gets what she wants and she doesn't get it. Guess what? You're going to still be the Page of Wands. You're going to still do what you do. You're, gonna, you're not going to um, be with him and him only. You're going to still um, do what you do, explore other things, explore other men, have a different life. You know, uh, go travel as you want to, take classes, do whatever you want to do. You're going to keep living your life until perhaps he gets his life together. And if you're available, and I say that, and if you're available, you, you may get back with him at one time. But here I see the Three of Wands, and this is the Three of Wands, and it's really heartbreak with the Three of Swords. And I just feel like that you both are heartbroken right now. You both are heartbroken, but the difference is, and Aries is not going to stay down. This King of Wands is all messed up because he doesn't know what to do. But an Aries is going to keep moving, and that's why I see this page of wands. Even though you're heartbroken, you're going to come out of this because you both are heartbroken because you thought you saw a future together, and now it has been tainted. It is it has, it's no longer the future that you had envisioned with this person. And now he knows that he upped up and that you, excuse me, mm, but he knows that he mucked up. Yeah, he knows that you mucked up and that he can't be with you right now. All of because of his silliness, his, his um, greediness, his wanting to have his cake and eat it too. And now he's trying to figure out what to do because I'm not quite sure you're going to give him another chance. I'm definitely not sure of that. So let's see. Let's see because your feelings have changed. He took you for granted. Don't do that with an Aries. But here, let's see. Show me oracles. What do you want to say, oracles? Show me. Ooh, they say no. They say no, move on. They're saying move on. And they also say not the right time. Not the right time. I don't know if you're going to get back with them. I think this is broken, but you know, you never know. It's up to you and you never know what the universe is going to bring back around. But right now, you're both heartbroken. You both have heartbreak over this situation because your future has been changed. For the immediate future anyway. That's what I have for you Aries for your love prediction reading.